Does anyone remember that old hippie beatnik, whatever it was, cartoon, George of the Jungle? Not the one with Brendan Fraser, but you know, the other one? Yeah, I thought so. Basically, it starred this borderline mongoloid Tarzan knockoff who was into a cave girl named Ella or Persil or Jane. There was an ape named Ape. Yeah, I know. I know. You can stop yelling at me! I said I know! Okay. Sorry. Anyway, I was running away from a Dollar Tree store after I stole a bag of off-brand Cheetos while the store manager, Guantanamo, was busy studying a magazine on how to cook the greatest Cinco de Mayo dinner known to man. He was chasing me with a broom and telling me it was a gun, and because I was high, I totally believed him. After running for approximately 15 miles under the desert and realizing I needed water, well, I was fortunate that old Guinea gave up his chase just then. No, I didn't find an oasis, though I loved their first three albums. But after accidentally sitting on a cactus and jumping high into the air in agony, yuck, I noticed a VHS tape sitting on the corner of a rocky cliff. At worst, I figured I could take it back into town and trade it for water. Or by then, I'd probably have found a water fountain, so... Weed, I guess. I don't remember if I found a VHS tape player or if it was all just hallucination, but... I vividly remember things started out with the ape, named Ape. He was smoking a pipe and wearing a technicolor coat and mumbling some words to himself about newspapers these days, only being interested in what celebrities President Barack Hussein Obama was butt-fucking for publicity. That was rather awkward, and I didn't appreciate the rude language and anti-patriotisms. You know, George of the Jungle was produced in the 60s or the 70s, I think it was the 60s, or some shit like that, long before Barack Hussein Obama was even sworn into office. Or a civil rights leader. Whatever. It was at this point that I realized that the usual George of the Jungle theme song about swinging from vines and going, ooh, 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 like you're giving head to a dominatrix leopard man, was suspiciously missing. Instead, various quotations from Ann Coulter about the minimum wage being class warfare and owl feeding cats ran on the screen in a Star Wars text intro scroll fashion? Well, at this point, I was scared. The camera then went back to the ape man's hut. I killed George. Apes just stared at the screen and said that. The camera zoomed deeper into his face. There was a clear, visible vein popping out of his forehead. His eyes were bloodshot. But Ape then had an aneurysm and he died. His pipe came to life in an Anastasia kind of way. The skeleton popped out of the hut's closet. I can't believe I can come out now, the closet said. Then the pipe started blowing bubbles instead of smoke. I'm not allowed to smoke anymore because I am not a pole said in a low, demonic voice. At this point, I was still scared. Then George and Jane, or whatever the fuck her name was, she fell out of the closet. Jane was none other than Jane the Killer. She bounded and gagged George, who seemed to be liking it an awful lot. I went to masturbate using the bag that belonged to the off-brand Cheetos. My dick turned orange. Anyway, I ate the VHS tape after that because I was thirsty and thought it would turn into water in my stomach. Because it didn't, I got milk from the cactus and pretended I was suckling on a teat. Fortunately, again, it was actually a prickly and I jumped back into the air. I landed 15 miles away at the Dollar Tree store. Guantanamo had me arrested and I threw up the tape in jail and I traded it for weed. Then an ape man became my cell partner. He told me that the glove wasn't his because it didn't fit. Well, then I masturbated with the glove. 
and my hands were somehow orange. <laughs> then I woke up. <laughs>